Yo, what's going on guys, Professor here, back again with another video. In this video guys, I'm going to be playing this Fast Cycle 2.5 Minor Poison Double Evolution deck. And I am currently 3,333 with it. And also guys, shortly before I start the video, I just want to mention that I just created my own clan. And if you guys have 5,000 trophies, you guys play war and you're active daily, feel free to join. You are welcome to the clan. And if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like and sub. And without any further ado... I'll see you guys in the first match. I'm on the first game here, facing 4.2.0 Albi. So let's see what he's playing. Gonna start off the game by playing my Tesla, I guess. Yeah, that's the best thing that I should play right now. Like, yeah, I cannot play wall breakers into the barbs or yeah, skeletons, rice spirit, anything. So let's see what this guy's playing. He got evil barbs. I'm gonna just go skeletons just to finish them off and I'm gonna go minor warbreakers just to figure out what is he's playing. So he got Inferno Dragon and Arrow. So it's either Lava Hound or it's Graveyard. So also guys, the deck is super fast cycle as you guys know. And basically the whole point of the deck is that you have to take damage on your opponent tower at 1x Elixir until until 2x elixir and then start off minor poisoning cycle their tower it's simple as that so this guy will go to lava the bag i'm gonna yeah poison those skeleton dragons so they die and i get more value out of my low prince gonna oh this is this should this is gonna be a little bit tough i cannot play my evil skeleton because i know this guy is gonna either arrow them or zap them he goes minor. I'm gonna go evil skeletons. I'm gonna be ready with my minor as well. There's the zaps. I'm gonna minor, and we should not get any damage from those bar, which is perfect. So I'm gonna. Hmm, if I go wall breakers, he's gonna arrow them. So I'm gonna just chill back, take my elixir, and I'm gonna see what is he gonna do. Gonna be ready with my wall breakers. If he goes lava at the back, I'm gonna just play them anyway on ten. Yeah, because that's the best play for me. It's gonna force him out to play arrows, but he didn't. Okay, that's a that's the biggest mistake that a lava player can do eating your wall breakers. Because you can defend their pushes super easily. And that's basically free damage for you. So he goes balloon. I'm gonna poison here. I'm gonna pop the ability as well because I know he's gonna go for the skeleton dragon, so I want to protect my low prince. And interesting mine right this end. I thought he's gonna minor the low prince, but yeah. So he got no value and he eated the whole damage. He ate the whole damage from that guardian. Yeah, this is a good game. This guy just lost. I don't know what is he doing. He eat the damage. He ate the damage from Warbreakers. He ate the damage from uh Little Prince Guardian. So yeah, I guess average uh, Lava Hound player. So <laughs> gonna go Warbreakers here. I don't need them to get damage for me. I just want them to use I just want to use them on defense. Gonna go for my Tesla for the balloon, and yeah, we should be pretty much fine on defense. This is pretty much game over for this guy. All I need is just um, a poison down, and that's gonna be game. So, gonna go for my. Gonna go log and then poison. Yep, there you go. Really nice one right there against Lava Hound Miner, and I'll see you guys in the next match. I'm on the next game here facing Drake, so let's see what he's playing. Also, guys, this is going to be my main deck for the rest of the season, I guess. Um, I really like to play the other minor control version, which is which, ha which has a knight inside of it and so wall breakers. That is also really, really good uh, minor control deck. Like, that's basically control. You're going to control the game. And I missed a log over there, and this guy's trolling me. But it's okay. So, yeah. I might use that deck as well sometimes, but maybe not. Most likely, I'm going to play this deck. So in here, I'm going to try to activate my king from the battler. I'm going to play my Tesla off to the side to my tower. And then I'm going to cycle Ice Spirit to get back to my log. And I'm going to push the battler off to the side. So the the battler ball hits, hits the king tower. Perfect. If you guys didn't know, you can activate your king off to the battler by placing your Tesla off to your uh, princess tower side. And logging the bowler yeah just the way i did and then you can you're gonna get a really nice king to activation so this guy was a little bit aggressive if i just had my miner in hand i could have punished him with two lane evil skeleton push but i'm gonna just split them i guess i'm gonna split them at the back 
Um, I'm gonna just go low prints instead of splitting them. I guess I I'm gonna keep them. Maybe he goes Eve one at the bridge or something. Okay, that poison was a little bit aggressive. Gonna go straight up minor evil skeletons and wallbreaker. How is he gonna defend this? He's gonna Borboro and he's gonna go bomber. Wait, they're gonna still chain. Okay, I'm gonna poison here. And he has Nado. Okay, Nado kinda saved him there, but that's gonna be still a lot of damage for us, which is perfect. So that's a lot of damage. I can emote this guy and you know be toxic to him, but I'm not gonna do it. I kinda feel good today. You know, I'm kind of feeling like a good man. I don't want to troll anyone. <laughs> so I'm going to go Tesla like this for the Bowler and also for the Drill. If he plays it with the Bowler side, if he plays the Drill with the Evo Knight, he's going to get a lot more value. But okay, he played it off to the Drill side. Still okay. He went Poison as well. That's really aggressive, but it's still okay. Going to go for my Ice Spirit like this and then Miner the Bowler. I'm gonna, I want to play my wall breakers, bro, that's bomber. Evil bomber is so much annoying, and this guy has Inferno Tower as well, interesting, he got a really interesting draw deck. So, gonna go skeletons, minor, poison, I'm gonna go straight to minor poison, and then I'm gonna counter the drill with ice spirit, and then lock. So, we're pretty much fine on defense, all I need is just a poison or a minor. Uh, I guess, yeah, poison does 320, so yeah, that's enough. I'm gonna just minor poison, that's gonna be game. Really nice one right there against Drill Poison Bowler deck, and I'll see you guys in the next match. I'm on the next game here, facing AFA. So, let's see what he's playing. Gonna start the game by playing my Warbreakers at the middle, just to figure out what he's gonna do. So he goes more, I'm gonna just go for my little prince to take care of it. So, the mortar was not evil, I'm pretty sure. So, what is this? He doesn't have evil mortar, but he's using a regular mortar. He has evil bats. Gonna just ice spirit ability, and he goes skeleton army. Okay, interesting. So, he got evil bat skeleton army and mortar. This can be some sort of minor deck. Minor Skeleton King deck, like mid minion horde and stuff. Maybe not. Gonna go minor for that, and we should be pretty much okay. Gonna Warbreaker as well at the bridge. He goes Mother Witch. Interesting. I'm gonna go Tessa like this because if I don't, the Mother Witch is gonna take a lot of damage. And then I'm gonna just guide this, yeah, Skeleton King to my Tesla like this. And I'm gonna, yeah, I have to log those skeletons, I guess. Otherwise, they're gonna take a lot of damage. I'm gonna go straight at Warbreaker to the bridge. How is he gonna def how is he gonna stop them? Okay, he eat the damage, which is good for me. So, what is he gonna do? He might go mortar at the bridge. I'm gonna go low prince, and then I'm gonna pop the ability if he plays skeleton army or something. Okay, I'm gonna pop the ability on that, and then I'm gonna go for my ice spirit for the mortar. Uh, okay, that was kind of good. Skel skeleton king at his end. I'm gonna go evil skeletons. Hopefully. Hopefully he doesn't have enough for the Mother Witch. Oh gosh, he does. Okay, thank god the evil skeletons died. If they don't die, the Mother Witch is gonna just spawn infinity amount of biggies. So the Mother Witch is gonna be a little bit difficulty for us in this matchup, but still okay. He got a lot of damage. Well played at his end. He played that really well over there. Gonna go for my Warbreakers, and I want to put a Prediction Poison for Skeleton Army or something, but yeah, I don't want to risk it. Because this guy has mortar. And I don't know if he does have a spell or not. Uh, he got Evo Bats, Mortar with Skeleton Army, Goblin Gang, Spear Goblins, Mother Witch, and Skeleton King. He has one last card to play. I'm gonna go st straight up Prediction Poison. Perfect Poison. We got the Skeleton Army and the Mother Witch, which is 7 Elixir. So I'm gonna pop the ability over there. And I'm gonna go for my Miner with skeletons at the bridge and then i'm gonna warbreakers how is he gonna defend this gonna poison he's gonna go mortar which is fine for me the mortar is gonna just die and then uh wait i have an idea i'm gonna go skeletons split ah oh, his last card is recruits it's evil recruits so i'm gonna poison the mother witch hopefully they chain perfect they chain they i'm pretty sure they're not gonna die wait at the left hand lane they're gonna take the tower yeah, and I'll take that win, and I'll see you guys in the next match.
I'm on the next game here facing ZGL Taco. So let's see what he's playing. This guy also has 587 finish in the entire world. So he should be a pretty good player. And he has a lava banner, so he should be a lava hand player. Gonna go for my miner on his tower. He got skeleton dragons, so yeah, it should be lava hand. So the thing is which which version of lava hound is he playing like is he playing lava loon is he playing lava miner lava clone so yeah that's what's important normal version of the lava loon is quite easy but it's at the same time it's really difficult because they have a fireball and zap so they just fireball and zap your low prince and yeah it's gonna be a little bit difficult to defend their push with your tesla but yeah it's still okay it's still winnable so we're gonna go ice spirit here i don't have my low prince in hand i'm gonna go tesla like this hopefully tesla locks onto the inferno perfect and i'm gonna go low prince like this because i know he's gonna go for the skeleton dragons so low prince and tesla are gonna take them out and we should be pretty much okay on defense i'm gonna minor here so i don't get too much damage from those lava pups and yeah we're pretty much okay so it seems like he's playing lava miner okay Lava Miner is a really annoying matchup, but it, it is winnable, but it's, yeah, it's kind of annoying as well. So, it's not as much as annoying as normal Lava Loon, yeah. So, I'm gonna go Tesla, I'm gonna just place my Tesla, I cannot punish him with my Evo Skeletons, yeah, I'm, I cannot make dual link pressure because I don't have Miner or anything. Lava Hound at the bridge, okay, interesting. I guess average lava hand player just goes lava at the bridge. He don't care. <laughs> so yeah, that's gonna be a wall breaker connection for me. One connection is still okay, and we're pretty much okay on defense. Gonna go for my miner and then wall breakers, and then I'm gonna go for my log as well to predict barbs. Okay, am I gonna get a connection? Nope. It's fine though. It's okay. Gonna set up my Tesla for the defense, and then I'm gonna go for my low prince. He might go for the poison on top of my low prince. I'm gonna poison there and... Okay, he went for the miner on top of my low prince. Still okay. Gonna ice spirits. Okay, not the best ice spirit. I wanted that ice spirit to jump on top of the balloon, but it didn't. It's still okay though. We're not in a big trouble. So, gonna go for my miner and then evil warbreakers at the bridge. I'm gonna log as well because I'm pretty sure he's gonna go warps. And yeah, that's gonna be connection for me. I'm pretty sure. No, that was not connection. Okay, I might be in some trouble here now. Uh, I'm gonna pop the ability. Okay, he wasted his elixir. He could have punished me there, but yeah, he played this really bad. These warbreakers are gonna connect. I'm pretty sure. So, uh, nope, they didn't. But I got a guardian hit, which is perfect. So poison, pretty sure poison is not enough. I need a minor hit, and I'm gonna go skeletons, Tesla, just to be safe. And then, I guess I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna just log his tower and that's gonna be game. Really nice one right there against Lava Miner and I'll see you guys in the next match. I'm on the last game here facing Noisy Boy. So, let's see what he's playing. Gonna start off the game by playing my Skeletons at the back and then I'm gonna play my Warbreakers at the middle. So, just to figure out what is he gonna play or what does he have um okay interesting he eat the warbreakers so he should have some sort of heavy deck gonna tesla here he has hog rider okay this can be either 2.6 or hog eq that's the only thing that comes into my mind right now and he goes evil borbs at the back interesting he got hog rider and evil borbs gonna go for my low prince for them and Oh, oh my goodness, this guy got RG. I'm gonna go for my Miner, Skeleton's Ice Spirit, Tesla as well. He went Zap, but it's okay. The Tesla should be enough for the RG. Uh, it's not gonna be enough, but I'm not gonna waste my Evil Skeleton. Someone just Wallbreakers here. This guy was a little... This guy's so aggressive. This, this guy deck seems super, super heavy, and he's being super aggressive with it as well. So he went hog right? I'm gonna go Evo Skeletons, Miner, and I Spirit as well. Wait a second. This guy's super Okay, he has literally no elixir. I'm gonna go straight up low prince and I'm gonna ability. I am a hundred percent sure that this guy's dead. That low prince should take almost 
all of the tower unless you do something okay you went bats yeah th that level prince guardian ability is gonna they took almost all of his tower down so yeah that's what happens when you run a deck that has hog rider rg evil barbs musketeer bats arrows zap in it so gonna go tesla just to replace it because this guy has rg and uh, hog rider so yeah i need to cycle back a lot of tests i need to play a lot of teslas so minor is tower low prince same lane of that rg and what is he gonna do oh my goodness this guy got sparky seriously uh okay i'm gonna log the sparky hopefully the sparky dies perfect and i'm gonna ice spirit yeah that's that was really clean defense there it couldn't get much better than that it's gonna just straight up minor is tower I'm gonna poison the barbs and gonna go for my Tesla again on defense. There, I'm gonna go Evo Skelly straight up because I know he's gonna arrow them or zap them, maybe. Interesting arrows, but they still stayed alive. I'm gonna just log here and I'm gonna just minor his tower, poison it, and that's gonna be game. Yep, pretty nice one right there against this guy. And if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like and sub, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.